Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this Tuesday morning. Yes, it is uh, a little bit early. Um, about 7.30 or so. But, with this overcast, it is quite dark out here. Um, looking at the camera, <laughs> the uh, video actually looks lighter than what it really is. I think the camera's compensating. But you can see there is no sign at all of the sun coming up over those trees yet. But again, it is uh, very, very overcast. There's a thick band of clouds up there. But hey, we are still going to head to the river and we're going to open the Word. We're going to listen to what the Spirit has to tell us. And today is actually, we're going to look at our greatest reason to rejoice as Christians. Think about that for a second while we walk here. What is your greatest reason for rejoicing as a Christian? So we come down thinking about that. You see, there have been exciting testimonies given. Incredibly exciting testimonies. Over the years, I have seen and I have heard incredible stories of what God has done in people's lives of people being miraculously healed, um, miraculous provisions, miraculous protection, guidance, insight, um, power over demons, powers over uh, you know evil people and evil things. It's just, uh, I could take the whole day down here at the river and tell you stories, real stories, true stories, of the incredible things God has done. But you know what? All of that pales. I mean that. All of that pales with our greatest reason to rejoice. So I invite you uh, to read Luke chapter 10 with me. Luke chapter 10, we're going to go down to verse 20. You see, Jesus had sent out the disciples, and they came back mind-blow, kind of excited about the fact that the demons were responding and, you know, miracles were happening. And here's what we need to remember. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that is that you have authority to trample serpents and scorpions and overpower the enemy, etc. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Here's what I want you to remember. Scorpions and spir spirits, the evil that we face in this world, that we have power to overcome. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And all every miracle you've ever seen here on earth as far as healings and provision and protection and guidance and open doors and closed doors and everything that you've seen here in this old world, you know what? It's going to pass. Every one of those things, including any you know demon battles that we've had and won, Friends, as great as that is, it pales in comparison to the reality that you and I, who follow Christ, who walk in obedience to Christ, who are being led by the Spirit and are walking in the Spirit, that you and I, friends, are going to live forever in his presence where there will be no sadness no sorrow no sickness no suffering no more tears that is what we need to rejoice in that is what we can rejoice in friends did you hear me 
the eternal is going to last forever. Let's rejoice in that. Because forever is a whole lot longer than whatever years we're having on this earth. And all the suffering and sorrow and whatever we're going to face here is temporary. Rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Wow. Wow. Of all people, we are most blessed. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the promise of glory. Thank you, Lord, for the promise of heaven. Thank you, Father, for the promise of eternally walking with you. Thank you for the promise, O oh God, that we're going to live forever with him who has saved us, who has bought us, who's paid the price. And we're going to have sweet fellowship with each other on the other side. Never again to be confused, never again to be questioning and doubting and wondering. Father, thank you for the great, awesome promise of what lies ahead of us. We rejoice greatly in that promise today. Thank you for this. And thank you that you reminded us again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, saints. Have yourselves a fantastic day. All right, it's Tuesday. We've got Bible study tomorrow at the church, 2.30. Hope to see you there. But, God willing, I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. All right, friends. Cheers. Bye-bye.